Look, at, at this stage of the proceedings, obviously, it, the, the only question before court is whether to grant bail or not. Uh, it's not a question of guilt or innocence at this stage of the proceedings. That is only to be determined in a couple of months' time from now. Uh, the only implication with regard to the term premeditated uh, is to the extent that it has an implication on the specific schedule in terms of which Oscar will be uh, uh, will be uh, will have to stand trial. Well, uh, will have to face his bail application. In essence, it implies that there's a, a onus of proof that will be on him and his uh, counsel uh, to prove exceptional circumstances uh, in order to be granted bail. Remember, in this instance, maybe the mere fact that he's a celebrity is an exceptional circumstance to suggest that uh, he's one of the candidates that must be more readily afforded bail than otherwise. Everybody knows who he is. It's not as if he can hide or get a passport and run away overseas without anybody noticing him. So, so in my mind, uh, I, I would suggest that even his, the, the fact that he's a well-known person might count in his favour in this instance. Uh, let's assume the bail issue is finalised before the end of Feb 2013. I would assume that the National Director of Public Prosecution will try to expedite specifically this case because of the attention media and worldwide. Um, I am suggesting we are looking at October this year as a preferential date. Uh, if, if not October and if there are other applications in the meantime, and there can be a lot of those, then we are looking at March next year.